Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In last video, we have seen how we can use button in React Native with TypeScript. In this video, we are going to learn how we can use use state hook in our application, same application which we used here. Here last time we display some message, but now we will display the counter value and we will use a state variable also for that here i create one more function and i say counter to this function and in this function i just use here a counter type of use a state variable so i say const and i say count set count and i say use a state like this and specify zero here at the beginning remember that it's saying that you are not using it we are we will use it so here in this counter i say set count equal to count plus one so we are incrementing this as a counter you see done this now we are going to use counter also count also so handle press i am just removing from this so i remove this in the last video i explain you how to use this so i am removing this in place of this i say counter like this way i use counter here now in this counter i say this count property i want to display for that just blow up this button i take text property and under this i say counter and i just display the value of this count remember that and this counter is coming here so i set some property to this also so i say style equal to styles dot i say counter property here i give this property so i say here that counter like this way i say counter now i set property that uh, first of all i say uh, text alignment to the center save this you see we just go to the center of the screen then i say font of this font size i say 30 save this like this way so we can see counter now and you see that i am using this state variable and here i am passing right now zero and i click on this and you see that counter is incrementing no problem at all but if i remove from here this zero now you see the problem you see possibility undefined and i click it it's a none why because it's a type of script here we need to specify the data type for this so initial value is zero so it automatically understand its number type you see it coming that number type is there but it's implicit declaration in TypeScript. If you pass some initial value, it become the integer. And if suppose I pass this value under this, so now it become what? It become the string. You see, it's a string. And if I save this and I try to click counter, you see that it concatting or merging the string like this way. So we have to specify here zero and I can specify explicitly also like this way that it is the number. It is not the string. I save this. If by mistaken I pass here undefined value, you see undefined. So it will generate error because you cannot do it undefined because it's a number. So I say zero here like this way. Now I just do the counting so in typescript we just specify like this way the data type explicitly if i remove this with the help of this value automatically it will understand that it is the number type so like this way we can use if you want to use some string so you just can pass a string and you have this value you can do the things which you want suppose i use this counter variable here two times you see or three four times suppose i say 
three times and I press enter. So you see it's incrementing only one. You see 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You see there is a problem here because I'm using three time counter function, but it's incrementing only one time, not the three time. That is a problem. How we can solve this problem? That is the thing here. How we can change this? For that, we say arrow function like this way. And here I say previous counter, I say PRV count property. Here I say PRV count property plus one. Remember that I'm using like this way. Same property I use here three time and I remove this, save this, try to the counter. You see 7, 20, 23, 26, 29. So now it's using the previous value also and then it's incrementing three time, not only one time. So like that way you can use user state hook also with TypeScript in React Native. If you like it, please do subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.